School districts, they're doing whatever they can to attract more teachers. Some are offering money, but other districts, they're trying to change how long teachers work. They're slicing off one day of a normal school week. We're six weeks into the school year, so we want to know, how's that working out? Nick Starling went to Chico ISD in Wise County, giving us a progress report. It's Thursday, but it's the last day this week for Chico ISD students as the district adopted a four day school week model. After six weeks in, they've seen some changes. It's homecoming week at Chico ISD, and this year, students have another thing to cheer for no school on Fridays. Everybody likes it. For busy seniors like Michaela Hedrick, it's a needed day to prep for her future. Especially when it comes to my college classes because they are um, very tedious and they require a lot from me. Chico ISD Superintendent Randy Bronner tells me the district made this move after finding a budget neutral way to attract teachers. Uh, we would sometimes post jobs and get zero applicants to be quite honest. And but now we were able to recruit some very experienced teachers from other local districts. The school days are 35 minutes longer in this district of around 560 students and less than 100 staff members. This move, they say, is boosting morale. Being up here on Friday without kids, you can move mountains. And it helps us prepare those lessons so that when the kids are there, those lessons are more intentional. At first, Bronner said some parents were concerned on what to do with their kids on Fridays, but hasn't heard any recent complaints. Bronner, however, raises some concerns, such as a potential learning loss with a three-day weekend. Top of mind for us is to make sure that our uh, our uh, our test scores and our instruction levels do not go down for our, t our kids. While this district is testing out this new schedule, they know eyes at larger districts will be watching. And I think some of these bigger districts are waiting on the sidelines watching to see the results. In Chico, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.